Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Ali Hosseini on the line, and he's founder and CEO over at Millionarium. Ali, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Thank you very much for having me. So I'm excited to get more into what you're doing over at Millionarium and how you're helping your clients. But before we do that, let's get a little bit further into your background. So how did you get started in business and as an entrepreneur? Well, um, I started my first business when I was 16 years old. Um, I um, learned AutoCAD and I was helping uh, companies draw um, electronic digital maps um, at the time. It was very new and I loved it. Wow. So you, you've been a you've been an entrepreneur since you were 16, uh, starting your first business, and obviously you know you've been in business many years. Millionarium, I can see um, in business over 15 years, um, as, um, according to what I'm seeing. So I mean, obviously we all learn from the ups, the downs, the sideways, really everything in between. Um, what kind of advice would you give to those new younger entrepreneurs on going out there and um, and kind of starting their first business? Just obviously with now having the benefits of hindsight and being a more seasoned entrepreneur now? Very good question. Um, Helen, if I knew how hard it was to be an entrepreneur, I probably would not have chosen this path. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's very difficult. It's very challenging. But at the same time, it's very rewarding because you are your own boss and you can pretty much do what you love to do and um, grow what you, what, you know, it, it's your baby. Um, so that's the upside. The downside is that you have to wear so many different hats, so much responsibility, and, and um, it's it's a lot of work and blood and sweat. That's that's funny that you say that because uh, so, uh, many many of the people that I've interviewed on this show they say they say that or they were accidental entrepreneurs or something happened that to where they were they became entrepreneurs and like if I would have only known then I wouldn't have done it. So people that are listening to this show are going to be like, well, everybody this guy brings on says don't do it. No. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks it's easy, but it, it's mm-hmm. not easy. It's a lot of work. But again, if you have a passion, if you have something people need. Um, and you love to run your own business, go for it. Um, but put your heart and soul into it. Um, burn all the ships behind you so so you can only succeed. That's awesome. That's great advice. So, Ali, I do want to switch it up a bit. Let's get into what you're doing over at Millionarium. Uh, so first, tell me a little bit more about the company, please. Sure. And Millionarium was established in 2014. You're right, about 15 years. And um, before that, um, I was looking for a job. Um, I had a lot of sales experience, and I was finishing up my degree in writing English. And so this uh, friend of mine came to me and said, our company is hiring um, a writer. And I said, well, I like business, and I like computers. I don't know so much about writing. English is my second language, so the only reason I chose English was because I was just weak at it. Um, so I didn't really like writing in English. But anyhow, they, he said they're paying not so much, and so they're not getting a lot of candidates. Um, so I would probably get the job. And I asked him, what do you guys do? And he said, search engine optimization. And I said, what is that? And um, he said, well, we get websites ranked on the search engine. I still didn't know what that meant. <laughs> but I accepted the offer, <laughs> and I went there, and sure enough, I got the job. Um, I worked at the company for about a year. Uh, they trained me on SEO, and um, they showed me all the ropes, and they wanted me to write quite a bit, and I really hated that part of my job. But I loved the SEO part of the job, which was optimizing mm. websites and getting them ranked. I had background in computers, and um, it was just a game to me. So mm-hmm. um, I started my company in 2014, and since then, we've been at it. Um, I've tried um, to be on the black hat side. Um, with SEO, we have white hat and black hat, like the old cowboy movies. Um, the villain 
guy usually wears the black hat and the good guy wears the white hat. So if you're trying to trick Google or the other search engines, you consider the black hat. If you follow all the rules, you consider the white hat. So I tried the black hat and um, I was very successful up to 2012. And then Google had an algorithm update, which means that they go and filter all the spam that people have done. So most of my clients, um, we lost ranks for our clients, and I almost lost my business. I had to lay off most of the people who were working with me, and it was just a very heartbreaking moment. So I left the business in 2012 for a couple of years, tried a couple of different things, and then um, one day it just hit me that um, if I tried the white hat route, and if I did everything according to Google guidelines, then I wouldn't have to worry about risking um, any of my clients' um, rankings and traffic and leads. So I came back to it with the, um, with the idea to only do what Google approves. Um, but by that time, um, our industry already had a bad rep and it was difficult to sign up clients um, who would pay uh, monthly for a few months to get results. With White Hat, it's longer to get results, but results last a long time. So um, I decided to um, offer our services in a different format. Instead of charging clients up front, we decided to charge them per actual lead that they get. So we put the um, work into each website, each client that we sign up, we invest with them, we write content, we optimize the website, and we get them ranked on Google, and then we help them uh, to get the leads, to get the phone ringing and the forms to come in. Once we do that, then they start paying us per actual quality lead that they get. Um, if you search on Google for paper lead SEO or SEO paper lead, my company actually comes up at the top of Google, so we are one of the top um, companies who offers that um, internationally. Uh, so since then, the company has been growing really fast, and uh, just in 2019, our revenue grew by 51%, which was a great hit, and uh, we expect to see better results even in 2020. Wow, what an amazing story. Uh, and for those of you listening, there is no gray hat, no in between. It is black or white hat. So <laughs> you can't mix the colors and get a, and get a, hey, we just dip our toe in the black hat side. Uh, and then, Thank you. You, funny. Know, you know SEO. I do, and uh, it's funny because uh, people are always surprised. They're like, what? I'm like, come on. What do I, I just sit and talk on this mic all day? No, I know things. It's okay. <laughs> um, so, Ali, uh, you know, there's um, there's some business owners listening right now that are maybe not quite as far um, advanced in SEO, or they haven't even gone down that route yet, even though they know they should. Like, they've been holding off for a long time, and they're like, oh, I need to do it. Um, what kind of business owners are the, the, your sweet spot or your niche that are appropriate to contact a millionarium as potential clients? Like, what's your niches that you like working in? Um, it's, it's not right for everyone, and you're absolutely correct. Um, if you have a business that's already very successful, you're getting enough referrals that you're booking yourself all the time and your staff, then you don't really need us. Um, but if you're a struggling company and um, your local business, you provide services um, locally, uh, not nationally or internationally, that's not our niche. But mm -hmm. for local businesses that um, people are looking for them on the internet, um, mm -hmm. it, you know, it could be a plumbing company, it could be a dentist, it could be a lawyer, a plastic surgeon, those types of businesses are um, the ideal clients for us that we can really help. Um, and you want to um, partner with a company that doesn't require any investment up front and basically puts their own money where their mouth is, then Millenarium is the right choice. That's awesome. Um, any type of, so you said, you said plumber, dentist, um, any other niches that you, that you work with specifically, um, like lawyers, or just, I just want to build that out a little bit further. Um, any type of business that your customers go on Google and look for you. Um, mm, okay. You may be getting referrals already, but then you also mm -hmm. have people that look for you on Google, and that could be the right kind of customer okay. for us. 
Okay, no, that's great. I just wanted to provide some more um, context around that. Well, great, Ali. Um, so if somebody does want to um, follow up to learn more about Millenarium, um, what's the best route for them to do that? Um, again, you can search on Google for Millenarium. Um, mm -hmm. It's like Millionaire with IUM at the end. Or you can just look my name up, Ali Hosseini, H-U-S-A-Y-N-I. Or you can just search for Paper Lead SEO on Google. And um, our company comes up, and you can learn about us. You can read our reviews, and we'll be very happy to help you and um, tell you if we can help you or not. And we're not going to sign you up, obviously, because we have to invest in your business. Oh, yeah. And we want to make sure that we only sign up clients that will be successful. Fantastic. Well, hey, Holly, um, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work you're doing over at Millionarium. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store, um, do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And Ali, thanks again for coming on the show.